Well, you've been asking and it's my job to deliver. So I am so excited to take you on one of the most requested home tours that I've gotten so far on this channel. We are in the North River Ranch community here in Parrish, Florida. We are in the wild leaf section of the community and we're about to tour this beautiful Neil home, the heritage model. It is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,428 square foot, absolute gem. There's lots to talk about. I'm also gonna take you around North River Ranch today so you can really get a sense for the community, what they have to offer, and trust me, you are gonna love it, so let's get inside. And if we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala. I make videos that are all things Tampa Bay, what it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here. The food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. I'm also a licensed realtor and a team leader here with the True Living Group where we help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest here in the greater Tampa Bay area. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team. All of my contact information is listed down below. There's even a link to my calendar so you can schedule a time that is most convenient for you. So let's get right back to that tour. All right, now I wanted to jump in here and talk about all the amazing amenities that you have access to here in North River Ranch. And there are so many that I really wanted to take time to point these out, y'all, because there is some incredible things that you have access to as a resident. And bear with me, I'm gonna read down this list. I've experienced most of this, but it's so hard to remember. You've got access to three amenity centers. You've got multiple resort style pools, a clubhouse, a fitness center. You've got fit stations along the trails, which are fascinating. Those are areas where you can kind of work out. They're great. You've got Dash's Bark Park, which is the dog park. You've got playgrounds. You've got an event lawn. You've got a bike share. And there's even a lifestyle director here. And the Greenway and trail system give you access to an additional 24 miles of trails. It's unbelievable. And the village center that they're working on will be North River Ranches downtown. It's unbelievable. You're going to have an HCA hospital. They're currently building a brand new Publix grocery store, which is amazing. Another incredible thing is if you have young children, the elementary school is literally right across the street from North River Ranch. It is a top rated school. The high school is top rated and they're going to be building the middle school right directly in the middle of the community here. Another thing that is pretty neat is the way that North River Ranch is constructed. There are already three neighborhoods that have been developed and with two more on the way. You've got Riverfield, Brightwood, and Wildleaf, which is the one we're talking about today, but you also have Longmeadow and Crescent Creek on the way as well. And right in the middle of Crescent Creek, Longmeadow, and Wildleaf is where Camp Creek is going to go. That's the 12 uh, acre amenity center. They're actually going to have a cafe inside of there. It's pretty incredible. This place is unbelievable. You've got to check it out. Now, another thing that I think makes North River Ranch very unique is the amount of value you get in this community. Also, for all the single family homes, they have tankless water heaters. So you have on-demand water heat at all times. So if you have a larger family, that's awesome. If you have friends and family joining you, you know, there's nothing worse than waiting for that hot water heater to reboot. So having that on demand is awesome. You're also going to get paver driveways all the way to the street, walkways and lanai's that's a huge value that is not a small expense so to be able to add that to your property is fantastic without having to go do it later aftermarket for tens of thousands of dollars i think that's awesome you also have access to natural gas and you're going to have a gas cooktop range which in florida is not common and if you're moving from anywhere else and you're a cook and you love cooking with natural gas it is quite an adjustment to have to go to electric so to have that in these properties i'm telling you that is a huge win i'm jealous when i see it They've got four different home series with up to 13 different floor plans, one and two story models with two to four bedrooms and two to four bathrooms, two and three car garage options, and home sizes ranging from 1,433 square foot all the way to over 3,100 square feet. HOAs are billed annually and are only $85 for single family home and are $1,700 for villas, but that's because you do get some maintenance on your landscaping, which is great. And CDD fees that are also billed annually are currently ranging from right around that $1,925 mark to approximately $3,100 at the time of this recording. And one of the best things about North River Ranch is the location. You're only about 10 minutes east of I-75, just north of Moccasin Wallow Road. That is the main thoroughfare. It is super easy to get in and out of. You're going to love it. And not only do you have the Publix being built directly across the street from you right now, you can catch it on the way to the highway also because there's another Publix right there at I-75. It's great. You're going to love it, y'all. Now, one of the very first things you're going to notice is this beautiful entryway. I love the way they set up these homes. So as we enter this beautiful house here, they've got this really nice seating area here, big, beautiful mirror. But the thing I want you to take note of is we've got all tile floors here, plenty of, of space. If you've got enough room for a seating area and enough room for 
literally a, a, a spot to, to either host art or to drop off the keys at the end of the day. This is a really good spot and it's really conveniently located too because as you come in, this is the garage access as well, which I'll pop open here in a second. The home is a smart home, so these things are dialed in. You can have Wi-Fi connected. You can turn on the heat, all kinds of stuff from, from a distance, which is great. And as you roll into the garage here, you will notice that the floors are coated, which is a, a big win here. And they are completely finished. So you got drywall on the walls and drywall on the ceiling. So something to take note of. Lift matched or garage door. These are typically a 200 amp service. Should check that out here. I'll show you guys what's going on. Yeah, 200 amps, which is great. So plenty of room if you need to add things. I don't know why you would. And another note, in Florida, what you're gonna find is most of the homes will have the water heater right here inside of the garage, but this home has an in lieu water heater, which is a huge advantage. So we're gonna check that out as we take the tour here today. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is we are going to go check out this kitchen area here and then we're gonna get into living spaces. But as we walk down the hallway, you'll note we do have a powder room right we come in here and beautifully done. Got the brass fixtures there, white quartz, and then you know, nice at bat, plantation shutters up there as well. And as we come into this gorgeous dining area, that is a six foot table, at least could be a seven. I really like the wicker here. That's a, a nice touch. And then you're gonna see this gorgeous kitchen here. Quartz countertops, I love it. Plenty of space to entertain. Everybody's at your fingertips, so to speak. I love this, how big this island is. I mean, that sink is not small to begin with. And then this, this countertop is enormous. So you can really kind of get a sense for the space here, but we will definitely dive deeper into that. Beautiful tile backsplash here. Again, not at all price points do you start to find products like this, so I love that. I like the neutral color here. Some of you may, may prefer white, that's okay too. They've got different options in terms of cabinets, stainless steel appliances, of course. And again, this sink is so deep. I always like to do this because sometimes people are like, well, how deep is the sink? It's almost, it is up to my elbow. So hopefully that gives you some perspective there in terms of how deep that sink actually is. Big, huge refrigerator there. And this is a huge plus that I wanna talk about here because I'm a cook and I love to cook. My wife loves to cook and a lot of homes in Florida typically come with electric cooktops. And that's super frustrating as a cook because you don't have nearly as much as control. And I feel like they're not nearly as efficient getting things warm. So it's nice to have that as an option when you talk about your kitchen convection, conventional oven there as well. So really, really nice down on that range. Those are GE profile, which are great. And then you come into the laundry room, um, which I think is great here also. Good, good space. They have wallpaper in here right now, but plenty of room. You actually have a, a nice sink in here also. They put shelves up, but check out how big this pantry is. This was the thing that kind of shocked me. When I walked in here at first, I was like, oh, that's a nice size pantry. And I came around the corner and I was just blown away at how much space is in here. And again, that opens back up into our kitchen. And if you're looking over here, you know, again, you can be entertaining the family. You've got the beautiful covered lanai outside with the pool, dining area right there, and the living space here too. It's just absolutely stunning. So I'll take you into this living room right now. And another key feature that I really loved was this beautiful trade ceiling. It's got a little board and batten going on there too, which I think is awesome. And this door wall, which is three full doors wide, it completely opens up all the way, which is great. I'll show you that later. And these, these, that sofa and these chairs, this is not a small space. Sometimes these cameras can kind of throw it off. And you may not get a sense for how large a space actually is, but I am all the way in the corner right now. And trust me, this wide lens is not doing this place justice because this is a very large space. I mean, that is at least a 65 inch television to give you some perspective on how wide that space is. So. Beautiful grand area here. Now I'm gonna take you into the primary bedroom or the master for those of you who still call it that, that's totally okay also, but beautiful. That's a Cali King, that's not a small bed. As you can see, there's still room for an end table and then some extra space along on the other side as well. And then as we come across, you'll see the dresser there, get enough room for a chair. Not a small bedroom, so just keep that in perspective as we make the tour here, just beautiful beautiful home. Bathroom I really like as well. You got a linen closet right here to the left. I'll do a sight on that. Dual sinks. Those are quartz countertops as well. Not small. Good space here also. You have a powder room there which I'll show you in a second. The enormous walk-in closet. Um, there's no uh, his and hers. Uh, this one is uh, one walk-in closet but like check out this walk-in shower. This thing is unbelievable. Love it. Love the room here. Love the natural light. 
Um, I'm about 5'10", so I'm not tall, but this is above my head. So if you were like 6'2", 6'3", maybe you could see out that. <laughs> um, I love the tile here too, so something to take note of also. Really, really nice spot. And as you come into the walk-in closet here, and again, they did the one thing, the theme you're gonna find in this house here is the walk-in closets are just absolutely very good size. You've got the panel back here. This is where the Wi-Fi, all of the, the home smart system gets ran through. So something to take note of there. And as you walk back into, here's a full view of the space. Water closet, come on guys. And then this is gonna give you that full view overlooking your pool and covered lanai and the water view there. It's absolutely stunning. So now what I wanna do is take you to the other part of this house. So I love having a primary bedroom on the first floor. It really makes living, you know, maybe you have children, maybe you have an adult parent that's gonna live with you. It gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of options. So something worth investigating, the first floor bedroom. It doesn't have to be the primary, but at least having one and a full bath on the main floor is, is key. So you've got a, a full bath and a half bath here as a reminder. Now, as we come up the stairs, we're gonna land on this beautiful loft. This thing is great. A couple hundred feet of living space where you can send the family. Maybe this is your home office. Maybe this is where you come set up your guitar and drums. I have no idea. <laughs> There's a lot you can do up here. You can also put up another big screen TV. This could be a media center for you also. Love how they get set, set this up. That's probably a 55 inch TV just to give you a little perspective. And as we walk through the house here, I'm gonna take you into the full bath that they have up here. This thing is beautiful also. All of them have the same exact color counters. Flooring here is also, also very, very nice. Very similar to what you have downstairs in that walk-in shower. Full tile, which not all of them come with. But all the Ryan models do. Love that. Just a really nice bathroom. And the bedrooms are all really good size too, so. This would technically be bedroom two or three, depending on how you look at it. Both two and three are very similar in size. I'm gonna go to the corner so you guys can get perspective. This one has the smallest closet. So I would call this bedroom four, technically, for me. And as you can see, it's still a good size closet. I think most people would consider that to be a decent sized closet for sure. And as we come through, we're gonna go across that hallway again, and this is another bedroom. So consider this bedroom three, I guess. Love the light fixture there. Big, beautiful piece of art. Nightstand, that's a full-size bed. That is not a queen um, for perspective, but as you can see, still plenty of room to put a queen-size bed in here. They just chose not to. But the <laughs> closet space, again, is just so incredibly large, it's beautiful. Definitely worth checking out here. I love it. And then this space again. You know, I've got a big family. I've got three kids of my own, so I'm always looking to how can I make this most convenient for the family. And this room right here is a very, very large size room. That is a full and a twin. So it's a twin over a full bunk bed, ceiling fan. I mean, that's that light. Between the light and the wall, there's a good two feet over there. That's how much space is in there. And then you've got this Nice cubby, like how it's set up. And then really, really good closet space again. So love how this is set up. And then as we come through here, I'm gonna go back out to this beautiful bonus area, which I absolutely love. So really, really nice, y'all. I'm a big fan. So as I go down the stairs here, I wanna know what your thoughts are about this house. What don't you like? What do you like? What feature did you see that you enjoyed? And we're gonna take a little bit of a tour of this beautiful, gorgeous lanai. We to take you out there next, but before we get out there, I just really want to get some insights. So do you prefer electric or gas? And most people that I run into do prefer gas, but some really like electric. You know, having a key feature of an inline water heater, so you never have to worry about running out of hot water is excellent. Something that people absolutely love. And I mean, this space in general, do you like this open concept or would you prefer something a little bit more closed off? I'd love to know in the comments, don't hesitate. And while you're down there, if you hit that subscribe button and click that little bell, be a huge win, greatly appreciate it. Let's go check out this beautiful outdoor area. 
All right, so the next thing I wanna do is take you guys on a tour of this absolutely stunning outdoor space. Can't wait for you guys to check it out. Let's go see it. And we are coming into the end of the day here, which is just one of my favorite times here in Florida. You've got the stunning view of your beautiful pool with the water feature. Um, on top of that, you're looking overlooking the water view. This is the model, obviously, so um, this home is done from tip to tail, no complaints here. But one of the things I would like you to take note of, so we've got steps on this end of the pool. There's a seating area at that end. And of course, there's a beautiful water feature here as well but the entirely covered lanai, right? So this is your entire back space here. It's an extra few hundred feet of, of living space during the winter, especially, um, and during the summer evenings or when you're out here in the pool with the family, which is great. This table is in, you know, it's gotta be at least six feet across. It's not a small table, you get enough room. Uh, again, that's the master bedroom there, so it gives you a little bit of perspective, but I love this. You got the drains here, so rain's pretty hard. You want the water to shed pretty quickly here in Florida, but just a beautiful outdoor space. And this sliding glass door here, I want to make note of this as well because this one stacks on itself. So if you really want to open up the house, you can do that all the way across. And as you can see now, you get this big, beautiful open space. Take you guys inside before we take you all the way out here. And it's just stunning. So if you can imagine yourself sitting in these beautiful chairs, cozied up, nestled up, maybe this isn't your style, but y'all, yeah, that is your view overlooking i mean what a great way to end the day so this is just a fantastic property here this heritage home is absolutely fantastic neil does a great job really 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 impressed i hope you enjoyed the tour of this property as much as i enjoyed giving it i mean all the amenities this community has you know the gas range in the property the inline water heater you know four full bedrooms three and a half baths the humongous walk-in closets and this pool is to die for now i know that the standard model does not come with it and at the time of this recording right now that they are listing this home right at around five hundred and five thousand dollars. that is of course subject to change depending on what the builder is offering but keep that in perspective there are tons of incentives right now going on if you are interested in a neil home in the uh, uh, north river ranch community do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team all of my contact information is listed down below including a link to my calendar so you can schedule a time that's best to you and i am going to leave two videos on parish right here so you can go check them out directly afterwards that way you can make a qualified decision until next time go out and live that tampa life